everything in high definition. 11 Alive News at 11 starts now. On the day when the governor delivers his State of the State speech, a full-page ad was placed in his Hall County hometown newspaper, the Gainesville Times, blasting him. The ad was sponsored by a group called Better Georgia. Brian Long is the executive director and a liberal blogger. People in Hall County think that we're doing great because their local guy is running uh, the state. They're wrong. The governor's office sees this as a party of one who is blue because he lives in a red state. And it's interesting, this is a liberal group um, placing a liberal ad with a liberal message in one of the most conservative pockets of voters in the entire nation. In the ad, Better Georgia shows a trophy and claims Governor Deal's job growth in two years is 51st. In fairness to the governor, he's been in office 12 months. We're dead last when it comes to job growth. When you include Washington, D.C., we're 51st. I would dispute these figures. One, since the governor has been in office, the unemployment rate in Georgia has dropped from double digits down into single digits. According to the ad, Georgia is losing jobs as the rest of the nation recovers. Gallup organization, which um, is no right-wing group, actually is an objective observer here. Um, on, on this map, they have uh, Georgia as being one of very few above average job creation states. In the advertisement, it states, he'll say he has a plan, he'll promise Georgia's on the rebound, Governor Deal is wrong. We're not keeping up with the rest of the country as the nation uh, comes out of this recession. They can dispute the Obama administration's unemployment numbers because they're the ones showing that the unemployment rate in Georgia is dropping. Current polls have the governor with a 48% approval rating. Generally, anything over 45% is considered pretty good. Meanwhile, Mr. Long says he will keep the pressure on.